G'day guys, Cleaver King here. So we'll turn one on, turn the other one on, maybe we'll turn them on at the same time. And I'll tell you a bit about this car. Right, listen to this guys. Don't forget to follow the Clevo King too. Alrighty, so I'll just tell you a little bit about this before I go and keep my other car on. It's a uh, 302 XB 76 uh, Ute with a C4, freshly rebuilt. Um, we took it into a shop to get the gearbox fitted, and sadly, they had a few issues. Being a mate of mine, I um, stepped in and said look bring it around and I'll uh, sort it out for you so we've got this we had to pull the engine out put the C4 on test fit it on the ground because it was it says it was a rebuilt box but there were so many issues with it it had to go back to the shop and get a few things fixed um, but uh, it's all good now guys it's in fully rebuilt C4 everything's connected up it's got a really nice thermo fan it's a very nice engine got a um, street dominator intake um, 600 holly very nice very clean tidy 302 brand new power steering pump and like a new fuel pump alternator everything was it was it was nice to work on all right guys let's give the yellow car a bit of a kick Sadly, I had, had a bit of an issue with my Ute yesterday. I've been driving it a bit hard recently, and um, something's wrong. The engine will be coming out. We'll be doing something bigger and better with it. But um, I just had to get my yellow car driving to get around in it for the meantime. It sat for a while, so let's keep this on here. Hi, Comp 351, solid cam. <laughs>
that time I waste too much fuel, but there you go. I think that 302 might have been just a bit out of there with the three pubs. If anyone needs any mechanical work done, I'm starting to take a few jobs on, guys. Hit me up, we'll see what we can do. I've got my brother giving me a hint at the moment, and um, we can do any job, no matter how big or how small. Thanks for watching that video. Make sure you smash the like and subscribe. Check out the Clevo King Facebook page and the Instagram page. And if you want, add my mate Corey. Thanks for watching, guys. Phew! It's actually a really good feeling when you um, can finish a car off that, that, that a shop couldn't finish off, guys. I've been in the position when I was young, like my mate here, where I put cars into a shop where they just kept opening up problem after problem after problem and at one point I thought is this car yeah, ever going to be like on the road again? It seems like it's never going to end guys, it's almost the make or break, you know, you can almost be turned out, turned off the hobby and get turned off cars altogether with a bad experience, especially, you know, three times in a row, the gearbox failing, but guys Something we got it, it's an really awesome feeling. Walk around town Look at the freshy. Fucking centralization. That's if that's not strategic. Absolutely planted that. It was just off to the left Maybe by a few mil. Turn the car on. There you go. The birds are telling me that this one. No, I've got to wash it again. I can't believe that. We've got what all the shades from um, tonight, bro? yellow, orange, then to the red. Got, got green the whole, over there. <laughs> got the whole. We got the green XC drag car project. That's going to be a, a tough three. What's that in the middle? What's that in the middle hanging down underneath? X Y nine inch. That's silver big. Oh yeah, it's a big nine inch diff. You. We've got the project over here that we're building on the Brisbane Brothers channel, guys. Oh, I don't know if we should show them this. <sighs> oh, this, this Oh, then for our project patina. Check it out, guys. We've got some videos here. We're doing step by step. We show how we fit a nine inch and king spring super lows in the back. We're doing every mechanical step on, on footage so that you can buy a six cylinder car. Watch all of our videos until you convert it and build your own V8 at home using all genuine Ford parts. It takes a bit of scrounging around and it's not cheap, but uh, it's a lot of fun. We've even got a really good video, guys, how to inspect one of these old girls for rust. Thank <laughs> you.